Hello everybody and welcome back to the modded nerf. Mod character showcases the other day. I'm getting confused. This is the streak, which I believe is this save file. We are on a four streak and I did randomize our character and we got good old Eve, which eh, Eve scares me a little bit early on because we can play it in two ways. We can either just go for it. Oh, I love the hair physics on Eve. That's nice. Uh, we can either just go for it or we can play it a bit risky. Um, I think we should play it a bit risky. I'll be honest, I don't think it's a good idea to grab this chest in case I take damage, because I'm pretty sure spikes do full heart and I'll die, so that's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, we can play it risky going Horror Babylon, which is obviously what I'm doing now. Um, or you can play it safe and not go Horror Babylon, but honestly, not playing Horror Babylon is just, like, depressing. Hopefully we get a bomb pretty early on here, because we do have a Tinted Rock right there. As for the question of the day today, Hmm. Oh, God. Okay, there's a heart. As for the question of the day today, ooh, angry fly. Not, not the best. Not the best. I, I haven't got a good question of the day. There's a bomb. I haven't got a good question of the day in mind right now, actually. Um, oh god, I don't like the way that we've still got some hair, but we're like bald in the back now. <laughs> okay, there you go. It came back. It came back. Hey, that was in a good spot. Um. Hmm, question of the day. I haven't I haven't pieced one together yet. I haven't pieced one together. Hmm. What's your favourite bizarre food? As in like something that you've concocted yourself or something that you maybe order that's really unconventional. What's what's your favourite like combinations of food that just most people probably wouldn't like or at least wouldn't think to try that you think is real, real good? Um there's definitely a few. I, I've I've once made a tuna carbonara, which I, I very much enjoyed, which is something I don't think anyone has ever done before. And if they have, I don't know why. <laughs> um, one thing, it's definitely not an odd combination at all, but one thing that I never see on, like, menus, which I think is just, like, an absolutely fantastic... Um, tears up, lovely. There's another pill over here, actually. They, I think those pills are behind rocks, actually, aren't they? Um, is, uh, I, I, I really like a... Bacon, turkey, and coleslaw sandwich, which is just it's just my go-to. But it's not weird. But I never see it on menus. It's never a combination I've really seen before. But I think it's just absolutely just fantastic. It's one of my favorite combinations of ingredients to go in a sandwich. Especially if it's like really mayo-y coleslaw. Oh. Coleslaw's the best. Homemade coleslaw is really good too, but oh, that was a really stupid hit there, my bad. Um, but yeah, just coleslaw in general is just absolutely tippity top tier. Right, nice. Let's not get hit by this guy, please. Hey, Pesci's not bad. Pesci's not bad. We'll probably go Devil Deal here. Um, and we'll go down to the next floor, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, this is the streaking save file, so we are just trying to play to our strengths and build a streak. We'll uh, just use the damage boost from Razor there to uh, clean up this room a little bit. And then we'll do the same on the next room to get back into Horror Babylon. Trying to make take advantage of the red hearts as we gain them rather than just tossing them away. Might as well. Yeah, come in here, pop it again. And then we gain the damage bonus for this room plus... Plus the actual Horror Babylon damage bonus, which is very nice. Unfortunately... No keys thus far, but if we get a bomb, we've got keys, so we should be able to get at least a bomb or a key this, uh, that is, that was incredibly rude. <laughs> I got caught up in it there. The health's not great right now. We're doing good damage though, there's our key at least. We don't want that, right. Let's go and check on our item room, give us something beautiful you know you want to. That's pretty beautiful. Nightshade is very nice. Herming shots. Um, good protection with wisps. It's an all-round very, very strong item, in my opinion. <laughs> that I very much like. I do not like you, by the way. But yeah, her the herming wisp shots are just nice. But really, the, the big benefit to me is the uh, the generation of wisps every room that you get per kill. That just allow you to block shots and stuff. Like, it's invaluable. Do you guys want to chill out? Okay, hopefully we can find um, a Tinted Rock on this floor. We did have an extra one on the last floor that we unfortunately missed, but 
Yeah, but yeah, as, as I sort of said in previous episodes, I've been playing through Baldur's Gate again at the minute, and oh my god, am I enjoying that game so much right now. I've been modding it. Uh, there's a Tinted Rock as well. I, I, I've been playing it with mods, um, and it's, 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 it's just... It's just an absolutely fantastic game. Now, we could get the reverse Whore of Babylon here if we wanted to. Um, if we had two keys, that is. But I don't know if we're going to do that. I mean, technically, we could grab two keys from here. I don't, know if, I don't know if this bomb would actually grab us both keys, you know. I'm not sure if it would. It's a little risky to try without knowing. Um, but we could get the reverse Whore of Babylon, which is instead of gaining damage, you gain, I think it's fire rate and speed. Um... Or fire rate and shot speed, something like that. Which is maybe not that much better when we don't have great damage already. I don't know. Um, it's kind of a tricky one. Because I think it's it's definitely safer. And it means the angel deal is a bit more appealing to us. Um, but it would it would lower our damage significantly. It would also make our active less valuable. I'm going to try this. Ah, you bastard. I tried. I gambled. I was, I was thinking maybe I could get them all, but... Twas not to be. Twas not to be. I should have just gone for the one guaranteed key rather than trying to push my luck, but... Hey, her. I have made my bed. I shall lie in it. I should try and open the, um, the spike chest, to be honest. I think it takes red hearts first. I can't remember, actually. It might not. We'll see what we get from this boss and we'll uh, work it out after that. Okay. Get away with, from me with all that. Lovely stuff. Dice Goblin, not particularly amazing. Um, we did get a D6 out of this, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Devil Deal. Now that I've got a D6, I'll at least check the Devil Deal. Um, and I think that would respawn us as Judas's shadow straight away, which is very... Te no, would it? Would it? No, it wouldn't. It just put us on one heart. Um... I'm going to go for this, and then I'm going to go for this as well. I'm going to take both and respawn. It's a little bit risky with our current HP. Um, ooh, we look pretty we look pretty gnarly right now. Uh, just because of that, I'm going to go back to the shop and see if we can buy a soul heart. I realize... Oh, we've got flight now as well, actually, so... We still want to keep Horror Babylon now, though. Uh, There's no point trading at Horror Babylon at this point. But I think the respawn there... Is pretty good for the double damage. BFF is pretty lovely. Um, I am going to grab BFF if I can. I know that I'm being mean to my donation machine yet again. I'll refill it at some point. Don't worry. Um, and I'll grab that as well. Arrow walk. Oh, baby. Ugh. That's annoying because arrow walk's so good. But I'd, I'd honestly rather have the, uh, the D6 right now. In fact, can I? This might be a waste of keys. This might be a waste of keys. Hey, it does work. Nice. Um, chance to duplicate car carried over pickups. Cool. Waste a little bit of HP there, but I know for a fact that reflected trinkets always reward you with a golden trinket. So, it's worth doing. And I knew that from one of the mods that we had, we had an additional golden effect for this thing. Um... Yeah, being able to carry stuff over between floors is just nice, but the duplication effect, ooh baby, that could be, that could be incredibly spicy for us. Right, anyways, having this error walk is good um, for late game. We'll probably be holding on to this for quite some time. Um, I think we can take, oh, we can't take both, unfortunately. Right, down we go. Got to be very, very careful with our HP right now. We are sitting quite low, and um, we have unfortunately got rid of all of our keys. Um, oh, we got a dice shard. I don't know where that came from. There's also two of these chests now. Right, do not want to be hit by that champion. Keep him well enough away from us. Luckily, we do have protection with our wisps, so at least projectile shots towards us aren't going to be as easily hitting us. Still doesn't make us safe by any means. Yeah, BFF will help Angry Fly, but I'm, I'm mainly taking this for the future. I'm, I'm glad to have a dice shard, despite the fact that I don't know where the fuck it came from. Unless maybe it was in a secret room, but I don't think that's the way that this item works. Oh, also, um, BFF is increasing the health of our wisps, I think. I don't know if it's increasing their damage, but it's definitely increasing their health. Um, which is quite nice. Range bonus, lovely. 
finally actually giving plus two. Yeah, you two. I'm really liking having flight right now. I'm very glad I took that. Um, limestone carving, it's not particularly amazing, but we'll take it. And we would probably want to go to our shop here to, um, to grab a soul heart if there's one available. So far, this is a pretty decent run. Um, I think, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I just, I just worry for our current HP at the moment is all. Ooh, that's very nice for checking out the shop. Thank you. Glad that I, uh, didn't go to the shop straight after grabbing that first key. Glad I waited. There's the soul heart we need. Lovely. Uh, we'll try and do the extra excess rooms here. I love with um, with the goblin thing we got going on, how we look, how our character looks right now. It looks pretty gnarly. There's pills about. Honestly, considering we've already found the tears up pill, I'm not particularly enthused by taking other pills. Um, basically, I, I think it might just be worth waiting on finding the tears up pill and not taking anything else, which is a bit cowardly, but whatever. Small rock. Oh, BFF also increases the size of these boys, and that blue one there will drop a soul heart also, so that's very nice. Um, we need to make sure to come back for error walk, don't forget that. But I'm keeping a dive shard in case we get a devil deal. Although, I don't know, would I would I realistically actually go into a devil deal with my current HP? I don't really, really think it makes much of us. Um, although, there could be black hearts and stuff in there, so I will. I will go in at least. Alright, good, good. I probably should have re-rolled that, to be honest. Yeah, unfortunate. I could dice shard and hope for something that gives us HP. Um, but I don't think that's a, a really good idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this here, the dice shard. And I'm going to hope that it comes with us to the next floor, which isn't guaranteed. Because I think my Tursis only grabs a certain amount of things. Um, and I don't think it has any sort of order as to when they were picked up or dropped. So I think error walk is more important as a whole because it just makes the last boss like significantly easier. Um, but if I can bring the dice shard with me through my tosses too, that'd be that'd be pretty pretty amazing, pretty amazing. I kind of like the idea of uh, so obviously we've got the three concurrent series running at the minute. I like the idea of of like the streaking series versus so we we got double dice shard actually, so that's kind of awesome. Um, this uh, this trinket being gold is very very nice. Um, yeah, one thing I'm really liking about uh, the, the current setup we got going on with the series is I feel like this this series being streaking, we can do a lot more talking about Isaac, our process gameplay for people that enjoy that, also people that are trying to learn the game, and then our other series we can be a bit more relaxed and just talk about whatever, um, and then obviously the modded character we can just speak about mods and the modded character itself. Um, almond milk. Hmm. I'll take almond milk. Oh, I just minimized my game. I'll take almond milk. Considering I have a reroll, obviously not an item I needed to take whatsoever, but it's a fun one. I like almond milk. It's good. It's clearly showing its prowess already. Um, as I said, I, I on these on these series, I don't want to not take risks. I don't think that's fun. Um, like I think the risk has to be calculated. Like I, I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna like go hell for leather and take really, really dumb risks. But... I will, um... I will take some risks that I think, like, are okay to take. This almond milk was a risk, and it's, 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 it's clearly provided to be not that much of a risk, to be honest. I mean, my damage is still 4.35. I'm actually a bit shocked as to how that's the case. I think it's because I've got my doubled damage going on. Um... Right now, it's it's kind of it's kind of nutty. Do I want to waste my keys on this door potentially? I'm I'm basically at the minute I'm looking for things to dice shard. Um, and realistically, I think our best option would be secret room, but we don't have any bombs, so we need bombs. He didn't drop a bomb, unfortunately. We did get a key out of that though. I'm trying to do these excess rooms here for other consumables, but also yeah. Charge key doesn't do much for us either. We do also have to remember that the dice shard is a d20, so we could also use it as a d20. Right, I think with our amount of HP, we ought to um, we ought to try and use a few of the pills and stuff on the floor just to um, make sure they don't carry over and give us the highest chance possible of carrying over the dice shard. Shoot straight through there, armor. I don't know, maybe it's Pesci that's giving us that damage bonus. I know Sty also gives us a pretty good bonus to our damage. No bomb still, although that is technically a type of bomb. 
Uh, right, let's let's quickly go and try and get secret room with this, which I believe to be um, in here. We'll see. Uh, right, let's do this. There you go. Unfortunately, secret room, not really what we're looking for. Thank you, though. Um, right, so, I think we... Hmm. Pop the pill. Pretty fly. We pop this. Um, what, what does this do again? Activate, spin down, reroll all trinkets in the room. Um, okay, I'm just going to use this in another room. Um, oh, that's pretty fly. Okay, well... We'll take that because we get the money. And we're all full up on pretty flies now. That's good. Uh, and now I think we're pretty we're, we're pretty okay to leave the dice shard there. And, and we shouldn't we shouldn't lose it, right? Let's just make sure there isn't too much else on the floor elsewhere. Um, there's a dice shard there. There's a heart in here, but we can't we can't do anything about that. I don't know if this red key would potentially travel with us. I, I, I genuinely don't know. But I'll, uh, I'll use it just in case. Right. Okay. Um, I think I'll open up this room now as well. This does potentially create more hearts and malarkey. Yeah. Unfortunately, this creates a lot of malarkey. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Uh, teleport to abandoned planetarium. Nice. Okay, we'll try that out. Ah, not really great. The sun card, though. Yeah, this isn't this isn't ideal. We'll pop the pill. We'll take error walk, and we've just got to hope and pray that the right things come with us here. There's not much we can do about it. I've 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 sort of overfilled this floor a little bit. Um, what's this? This is birth certificate, not death certificate. Consumes all currently held trinkets, teleports you to a special area that may contain... That contains many trinkets, along with some other pickups. You can choose as many trinkets as you can hold, teleports you out of the area afterwards. So, unfortunately... All, it, wait, it says consumes all currently held trinkets. Okay. So, I've got a bit of an idea here. So, I think we... Drop this here. Consumes all currently held trinkets, so we're not holding any trinkets. Then we use this, it takes us here. It's, it's gonna be laggy, it's gonna be laggy. Um, and now, we look for a trinket that's gonna be good. Um, which I'm not actually sure. I mean, amalgamation would be, would be pretty, pretty interesting here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try something. I'm going to take Amalgamation, and it, this is exactly what I was hoping for. It didn't teleport us out. So now we take Brainworm, because why not? Didn't get gulped. Okay. So we're not getting too, too much out of this. Right. First of all, let, let's try and look for something gold. Okay, I don't see anything gold right now. Uh, right. What what would be... Okay, there's, there's Lazy Worm, but that doesn't really do anything for us. Right, what would be a good other trinket to take here? Um, th th obviously, there's just so many options of what to take. Brainworm's obviously a good one for now. Um, trying to think if there's any specifically that work really, really well with... Um, so, that could be good. Plus one damage. If it's a flat plus one damage, that could be good. Um, also, Tomato, chance to give a fired like Godhead aura. That's that's like pretty goddamn good for... Um, what's our tears called? You know what I mean? There's another gold thing up here. Increase flat damage by bombs. Oh my lord, that could be pretty strong. Um, helps the medicine go down. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a gamble on the tomato first and hope it gulps. Ah, it didn't gulp. It didn't gulp. Right, so now this should still be here, which I'm really really hoping gulps. Ah, you fucker. God damn it. So, we're going to have to leave one of these behind. I mean, probably the tomato. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we just leave the... Um, maybe we just leave the, the flower at this point. Because I feel like... Let, let, let's just see. Oh, yeah. That's, that, 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 that's enough to make a 
pretty big difference to our damage. Okay, so unfortunately, I think we're going to leave be leave behind the dice shards, which is not what I wanted. I guess what we could do in that case is use them for d20 and some stuff. Um, and try and try and get some extra chests or whatnot. Yeah, I was really hoping I'd... If, if I gulped even one of those, it would have been fine. That's why I took Amalgamation. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't, didn't work out. Uh, but we can come in here and... Dice Shard. We did get two chests, actually. And... We'll take the two bombs in here, and then we'll come with our other Dice Shard and reroll the rest and see what we get. It's not the best of options, really. It's not what I was hoping for, but... I think error walk is just far more valuable than the potential chance of a reroll, especially when we're already quite strong. I mean, these two trinkets combined give us herming plus partial godhead, and like god godhead is herming. So, hey, and we did get another chest here. We got a token in there. Okay, is there anything that we could, that we could benefit from with a token? I guess technically another error walk, but um, do you know what? What I'll do is I'll grab. Brain worm, and I'll token it to see if we get a golden brain worm. Oh, yes, it double gulped both of them. Okay. That was. I don't know why it gulped both, but. That is something that I didn't even consider, and I'm very happy about. So now we go get Error Walk, and we get to still bring our trinket with us, which is a. It does hurt a little bit that we've now just used both of the dice shards, um, and they're not going to come with us anymore. But, on the other hand, we wouldn't have had anything if we hadn't have used the dice shards, so I feel like it's okay. Yeah, Amalgamation's like a top tier trinket. Unfortunately, we didn't get a gold brain worm, so I don't know what that would have done anyways. But still, uh, let's go down to the next floor. We spent quite a while on this floor, but I feel like being on a streak, I want to try and min-max wherever possible, and that was quite the heavy min-max. We now have a pretty strong trinket-based setup, to be honest. Ah, oh, we just brought over a ton of HP. Technically, what I could do is leave the error walk and hope that it duplicates, but with all that HP, I don't know if I want to risk that. Unfortunately, with no way to consume red hearts, it's going to be that a lot of flaws just bring over a bunch of red hearts. So, yeah, the Godhead Aura ones don't actually gain Herming, they just gain Godhead Aura. But considering the amount of tiers we're firing, I don't think it's luck-based, I think it's a flat chance. We're firing quite a good amount, and for those of you that don't know already, um, Godhead is insanely good with Soy Milk, because the Godhead Aura does flat damage, it doesn't do damage based off your damage like it used to. It does a flat amount of damage, meaning with Soy Milk, Godhead, things, um, things like Soy Milk and Almond Milk, sorry, it's real good. More health is very, very nice. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're, we're on to a we're on to a winner so far. I don't think having two brain worms is actually doing anything for us, but why not? It allowed us to uh, suck them both up. So, right, blue waffle tears up, accuracy down. I don't. I don't know how much of a tears up it would be and what spin down would give us here, but I'm going to spin down just because that isn't that useful for us. Unfortunately, not very good. Um, but we can spin down again if we gain enough money, so let's hold off for now and see if we can make that work. Which, I don't know, getting 10 cent for the rest of this floor isn't super, super, super likely, but... Yeah, never know, man. Yeah, never know. I can't remember what this does, but I'll bomb it anyways. Hey, there you go. HP. I like that. This looks secret roomy to me, but I'm going to do the rounds first and check it out. Because that could be where we where we gain our 10 cent from. Looks good there. Obviously looks good here. And check that double heart room just to the right. And then we'll pretty much know for sure. Yeah, it's definitely secret room. Hey, this is what we're looking for, baby. That's exactly what we were looking for. And we're, we're gaining HP quite a lot here. So we're going to spin it down again and hope that it spins down to something a little bit better this time. It's, it's always going to be stuff from this mod pack. Um, reusable rune generator. Sounds interesting. Reusable rune generator.
So, is this like the, the deck of cards, but for runes? I don't know if I want to keep that. That's for, for one, it's an active item. I'm going to hold off until I see if I get my money. Uh, for one, it's an active item. But for two, I'm going to be keeping Error Walk. So, it's going to give me this dilemma of finding a Yera rune and uh, wondering what I should keep. I know it is. But I really should keep... Um, I really should keep Error Walk. It just makes whatever last boss we end up doing, like, infinitely easier. Oh, fucking hell. Didn't see that guy there. Right. Quickly check in here. That's why we check. My goodness. My goodness. That was unexpected and amazing. I will crack that. Luckily, we only need four more cent to make this work. But yeah, it might spin down to something even more useless, obviously. But I think while we've got the options right here... I kind of want to take those options and see what we can do. This isn't mum, is it? It's not. Okay, we can do the boss straight away. Oh, hello. Blue block in the uh, boss room. Not not very privy to that. Oh, that was a good hit. But you are dead. This is going to be a pretty large damage up, I should think. Yes. Gargantuan damage up. Again, we'll check this. Not super enthused by anything in here right now. Um, Demon Baby's kind of nice, though, especially with BFF. And we'll quickly go and make the rounds to try and get our additional 4 cent, which we might not get. If so, I will take the uh, the Geode, because um, why not? But right now, I'm, I'm kind of not in the mood for an active, of which I won't get too much use for. Obviously, there's plenty of runes that I can use on the floor. Uh, it's just, I know it's going to give me that dilemma of, of giving me a Yera rune, and I just don't want to be faced with that. I don't want to make that difficult decision. It looks like we're going to have to, though, so let's um, let's go and grab it. Very demon-esque heavy run here. Do you know, let's try this out. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Now we're one cent off. Okay, let's, let's do the rounds and just make sure there isn't the potential for a penny elsewhere. Hello, hello. The potential for a penny, I see. Oh, it also gulps. I kind of forgot about um, amalgamation there. Um. Ah, I got hit twice there. That wasn't wasn't really what I meant to do. But we got our fifteen cents. We can spin it down one more time, baby. Probably get something significantly worse, but. Without a spin down preview, we don't know what we're getting. We've just got to go for it and hope for the best. Attractive bombs plus five bombs. There you go. That's 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 genuinely more along the lines of something I want. Um, I don't know what attractive bombs means. Maybe bombs charm enemies. Uh, I doubt it's herming because that would be just called herming, right? There you go. Anyways, down to the next floor. We're on a pretty slow pace here, but I think these streak videos are always going to be a little bit slower because we're always trying to do that little bit of extra min-maxing to try and make sure we get the win. Um, even if it's not necessary. I feel like we really need to on these street videos. Sorry, just taking a sip of my lemon and lime sparkling water. Hey, we got a glass D6. Nice. Um, we'll take that for the floor. Just remember not to go for the boss before we get Arrow Walk. Good amount of money there. Lovely. Nice, nice. It must prioritize not bringing health over, because otherwise it would have brought health over there. Okay, we did gulp that as well. We just need to make sure to pick up every trinket we want, just to see if it gulps. There's a 50% chance that it gulps. Amalgamation is... is it's a really, really, really fun... Um, fun trinket. It just allows you to potentially, if you get good enough drops, to build an actual trinket-based run, which is just so uncommon in Isaac and like trinkets are actually kind of interesting because like some of them are very unassuming and give you very small buffs but actually there is quite a lot of trinkets that are extremely powerful because of the fact that you're, you can only normally carry one which means they're allowed to be more powerful than an average item because you're only going to have ever have one of them typically so getting some of these runs where you can have quite a lot of them can be kind of insane because you're stacking up effects that aren't really meant to be stacked 
That's why the smelter is always so fun to grab from the shop if you find it. Um, ooh, time itself. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, time itself plus the uh, plus the god headshots is gonna be is gonna be pretty nutty, I think. So it doesn't look like we're getting a reroll here. Fuse cutter, we'll obviously pick up to test. Unfortunately, we did not get it there. A shame. It is such a shame. Right, it looks like we're probably not going to use the glass D6 here to reroll anything, um, unless there's somehow another item on this floor that I'm not thinking about, but I doubt it. Golden bombs. I guess I'll just check out the secret room here. Um. Not exactly sure where secret room would be in this scenario. No, it's not over there. Hmm. I guess the secret room could be where we use our reroll. That's our next sort of potential. Might as well blow these guys up for the rock spiders. Why not? We also got a tinted rock in there that I didn't see. Nice. Yeah, well, we've got golden bombs. Finding the crawl space is obviously a positive, but getting these rock spiders on our side is, is good too. There you go. Unfortunately, nothing. Curse pennies can drop on a room clear higher replacement chance. Honestly, that is a trinket, but I just don't really want curse pennies, to be honest. They can give you some good stuff, but not my bag right now. Right, okay. Where's our error walk? Where have we left our error walk right now? Is it in the start? I think it's in the starting room. Bomb you as well. Looking for those extra black hearts potentially. I need to actually hit an enemy with these bombs at some point so I can figure out what they actually do. <laughs> I still don't really know. I got one of these bags. Could be a burn heart in there. Ooh, we did get... Activates a random soul stone. Eh, that could be dangerous. I'm not going to do that. Especially when I don't really need to. Trying to find the driest of babies. With BFF dry baby could be pretty goddamn good. Goddamn, I'm so glad I took almond milk, by the way. <laughs> so goddamn glad. We are destroying enemies right now. Secret room could be either side of here, so let's check it out. There you go, we found it already. Ah, bloody hell. That was a bit annoying, I shouldn't have shot. Right, unfortunately, we are without our uh, glass D6 here, but what we can do is we can bomb this. Grab our full card, just to make things quicker in getting our error card back. And we make our way back. Okay. We are good to go. Our health is reasonably good. Um, our items, we're in a really good spot for items. In fact, it's kind of interesting how we, we don't have anything in our items that are like, is particularly amazing. I think Brainworm plus Amalgamation is obviously very good. Um, time itself is decent. Um, Nightshade is pretty useful, but the rest of our items are all kind of eh, whatever. But the, the the combination of everything we've got going on right now is, is pretty good. Right, we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Beautiful stuff. Well, of course, take Polaroid in this scenario. We'll check our Devil Deal again, but yeah, I'm going to say unlikely to be buying anything from there. And we'll carry on with our Error Walk into Ready to Go. Ooh, beautiful stuff. Um, Double these trinkets. I, I'll open that one up. Perthra. Um, at least good for, for the boss room, so I'll take it for now. Game is just, like, literally handing us rerolls left, right, and center at the moment. It's kind of crazy. The amount of rerolls that we've had available to us are not really needed. That's the thing. Like, 
We've done so much rerolling with spin down, with uh, dice shards and our pair thrower. It's just like, hey, have it all. A hey, trinket, please. Ah, no gold. No gold. Now, one thing that I'm curious about. So, I'm going to leave that scorched wood trinket on the floor, right there as it stands, of course. Now, when it spawns it on the next floor, will Amalgamation recognize that it's not let me smelt it? Or will it work the same way a brainworm does, where it counts as a new entity, and I'll get a second chance at trying to smelt it? Because that could be pretty interesting. Do you know what? In the, uh, in the test of faith, I'm going to try and pick these up, even though I don't really want them, just to get them out of the way. Yeah, we, we did gulp one at least. Um... Oh, technically, actually. Um, oh, we gulped both. Wait, so h how did I end up gulping both? I'm confused by that. I don't really know. Don't really know. I'm not. I'm not going to think about it too much. I think. I think basically, once I've gulped one, it knows that that trinket's ID has been gulped, and therefore gulps all future versions of it. But that's still a bit weird. Still a bit confusing. Okay, we definitely need that key. We're a bit low on keys right now. Normally, I just blast through and leave a bunch of stuff behind, but we're low on keys and we do need keys. All right, so we've got this pair thrower for this boss fight for the devil deal slash boss item that we get given here. And we will be definitely pair throwing that into, unfortunately, something almost valueless. Yeah, bit of a shame there. Right, go back and get error walk real quick. That's, that's why we don't like it. That's why we don't like the cursed pennies. It's a bit of a bit of a whiff on the HP there. I could have just taken the soul heart, but I was like, there's so many better things that I could get. Right. Pill, pill there we should use just to get out the way. Speed down. Eh. It's annoying, but it's genuinely not that bad. Uh, and then we hope that Scorched Wood comes along with us and counts as a new entity and therefore is able to be have a second chance at being smelted. That's that's the herb here. That's that's the herb. We shall see if that comes to fruition. Unfortunately, it did not come with us. There was plenty of red hearts on that floor, so it kind of ruined that a little bit. Um, we will try and get a soul heart out of you from a health upgrade. There you go. Why not? Lovely. We don't have a reroll this floor apart from the D4, which I'm not obviously willing to utilize. Yeah, so we are going to get a lot of cares pennies on room drops, which really isn't ideal. I was just trying to get it out of the way. The enemies take damage from those lasers too. I don't know. We'll see if we uh, smelt that up. I wonder if amalgamation is affecting how many trinket drops we're getting because we do need. We do seem to be getting on average more trinket drops than we otherwise would. Like there's just so many trinkets about. Unfortunately, we are not getting very good luck on the smelting chances right now. Not that these trinkets are like something that we need, but it's just I don't know. It's nice to have more, isn't it? Why not? Good extra bomb there. We've got six keys. We're all good on keys right now. Oh god. That boy laggy. Come on. Die, you fool. Ah, I see why I wasn't dying then. Brimworm was attracting all my shots towards the, uh, towards the inanimate object things. Well, not inanimate, but like, towards the things I couldn't kill. Cool. This, uh, this, this damage is just beautiful. Right, boss time. We've still got our error walk ready, raring to go. Yeah, so one of the great things about uh, time itself popping on an enemy is every enemy, like every shot that gets reproduced can get brainwormed back into them and have a godhead aura. So it just ups our DPS by a lot. Devil deal once again. We're getting very lucky with the devil deals here. Unfortunately, once again... Not really necessary. I do like Abyss, but it's far too late in the game for Abyss to be worth par uh, purchasing. If we would have got it on like second or third floor, I probably would have given it the time of day, but unfortunately not this time. I did get caught up in this. Oh, it's okay. I can actually leave the room. Okay. Ooh, this would be lovely to smell. Ah, lovely. Awesome. 
increase the range at which we can see rooms. It's rather nice. You can see that basically it's it's like a slightly more powerful Spelunker's hat without the secret room. That was like the best change they ever made to Spelunker's hat. Spelunker's hat used to be just like a genuine copy of multiple items. <laughs> Didn't do anything different. Letting you see one room ahead is like actually genuinely very useful for not backtrack, not having to backtrack. But yeah, having uh, having this as a trinket, very very nice. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, come on now. <laughs> that was a bit rude. No items for sale at all. Looks like we're on the right path to the boss here. Obviously, we're not going to use error walk on this floor. We'll use it on the uh, the actual. Blue baby boss fight. You see how many shots that I just negated hitting me because of um, Nightshade. I genuinely think Nightshade is a bit too strong. It could, it, it should probably be quality four. It maybe, maybe should just be like a fifty percent chance to create a wisp rather than a hundred. Because as it is right now, you just get so many wisps and they protect you from so much stuff. Obviously, it is bolstered at the minute by the fact that we have BFF, but. Even still, it's just a very, very, very strong item. Bad hit there. What's going on in this room? Do I have to kill the middle guy or not? Looks like I do. We do have two soul hearts coming in at some point as well here because of the two um, rock spiders there. There you go, look. We're back up to full HP here. Probably shouldn't have taken that second one until I got hit, but who knows if I will have gotten hit. But yeah, I think birth certificate was really one of the one of the key elements of this run in it being as powerful as, as it's become. Brainworm and this god apple thing are two peas in a pod right now. Alright, down we go. I could probably do Delirium if it got offered to me, but I don't know if I'm going to. The run's already fairly long, we don't need to add extra time on. Right, so what we get going on here. Oh, we got double chests here? Interesting. Ooh. Okay, Slick Spade, great. Bag of seeds, great. Leech, fine. The hive, very good. And mum's eyelashes. Penta shot. Oh my goodness. It lowered our damage by quite a bit, which I'm thinking is actually kind of overall bad. Um, but it didn't lower our fire rate, and we are firing a lot more shots, so maybe it isn't bad. Definitely a lot more laggy. Penta shot. Interesting. Yeah, the hive mine's just going to create a bunch of flies for us every room, which aren't as valuable now that our damage just got lowered significantly, so... Yeah, I'm kind of regretting the penta shot a little bit, because uh, the lag it is imposing on us is, is fairly high. I'm going to check my console to make sure there's nothing going crazily wrong in the console. No, this is just Isaac being Isaac. It was all it was all fine and dandy until I took the item. Now it's... Uh, the game do be struggling. I'll try and be a little bit more conservative with my shots and not fire more than I have to. I mean, come on, my guy. Y you already know you're dead. You really have to drag it out. Do you really have to drag it out? Okay, boss is found. We get to we we got to keep error walk the whole way as well. I love that. And we're at full HP as well. This has been a very good run. All right, blue flies, can you like there you go. Absorb into his soul, please. Going to be a little bit of a slow fight, but that's mainly due to the fact that um there's lag. I want to see what these bombs do. Didn't even hit him, goddammit. I can't really tell what they do, to be honest. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> My god. Time itself is such a funny addition to this. You're not in next phase yet? There you go. Oh, really? Both those bombs missed as well? You are very dead good, sir. Our wisps protect us. 
And there's another win on the list. We're doing pretty well on this win streak so far. We're playing it safe and, uh, and getting some good wins. I'm liking it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.